Greetings and welcome to City Skylines Deep Third, episode 89. In the previous episode, we went around the entire city doing monumenty stuff. All the uh, all the big advanced, you know, unique buildings. Thought I was off the road for me then. All the big advanced buildings like the park, the big old park that we put down here. Which I kind of like the park actually. So it's, uh, it's not a bad place. Hmm. Anyway. So we did the parks and we did the other big buildings around. We even put a road around back of the uh, signal. Oh, apparently that power cable doesn't quite connect somewhere. Uh, can we get that in there without it being weird? Maybe. There we go. Probably didn't need that one, but uh, it was there before, so we put it back in again. So yeah, so we put in the uh, some of the big monument buildings around and it, it, it was a nice little uh, episode. How are we doing the rocket, by the way? Almost halfway. Perfect. Uh, but I spent the first few minutes before recording just looking at uh, traffic up here. And th with the additional train, this is really doing well. It is really doing well. It's, uh, all the way the continuous influx of path of people, the number of trains coming in are dealing with them almost perfectly, actually. Uh, the monorail's doing a pretty good job of moving people around. And there was a bit of a crime issue, but uh, I've solved that by dropping down a bigger police station here. It was a smaller one, it's now being upgraded to a bigger one. Uh, I think you guys need power, because I saw that when I was scanning around really quickly. So let's just drop you a power cable temporarily, just here, until we build something between them. There you go, have that for now. We'll replace that at some point with a structure maybe, but I don't know. I mean, here we did the, unit, we got the modern technology that you can shoot in there. But that should get those powered up and then they should start pumping vehicles out because garbage trucks are a uh, fairly important thing when you're trying to, you know, keep your city from smelly, smelling too much. There we go. And then they're going to start pumping vehicles out. Excellent. But, what I was doing, I noticed I was looking for like, traffic problems, just thinking we need to solve some out. And we have this one here. Now this one here, I, have, I think I've solved it, but it's a backlog now. This one here is actually being caused by these roads being all backed up. And then these roads being backed up and ah everywhere, backed up roads. Uh, so I have, I think it might be a mistake to let that one be an outbound as well. Should really be three road in. But by letting that be an outbound, we do get some cross traffic here. So that might be an issue. Uh, in fact, what we could do here is say, don't you can't turn down there, but then I want them to build turn that if they need to. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what, screw it. You don't get to leave down here. Uh, give me a three lane in, no lane out road, please. Thank you. There we go. That's pretty how it was before. It's just that uh, it makes these cars turn around the end. That was causing us a problem as well. But uh, they'll have to deal with that, won't they? Uh, that will hopefully reduce the amount of cars turning here, and that's kind of the, the issue. You see the left turn there that's causing a lot of backlog. Um, this was all like two lane roads going up. I've made it all three to four lanes all the way down, depending on which way you're going. It's usually two two at the top and three one near the bottom, because we can see here the the, the northbound needs a bit more attention. Uh, I wish it wouldn't change the lane so violently. That's what's causing a lot of the problems. Now it's just a matter of waiting for it to either despawn a few vehicles that got jammed, or waiting for the backlog itself to move. Obviously, when night time comes, uh, this will naturally whittle down anyway. So I'm hoping that the problem has actually been solved, it's just a backlog, and the buses aren't helping the situation when they pull over and jam all the traffic up. Also, if you hear it or you see it, it's a flying room that's annoying the hell out of me, and I've been trying to get it. But uh, if you've watched the microphone, it's really sensitive, and I know that, so you might hear it, and I'm sorry if you do. Um, I'll deal with that later when I've got a proper solution in place. But, look, trains! All the cargo trains. I also got this road, so it's a bit bigger the... We've got more lanes to go around here with just to help them get through. Uh, it's working, basically. It's a bit slow, but I kept doing much about that without angling the road directly into the train station. But anyway, that's that's the uh, that's the the traffic situation. How was this traffic anyway? I saw this one boggling up. Standard situation, you got lanes merging and vehicles popping places, you can't do it about that. Unfortunately, not really anyway. Hmm. All you can really do is try to have multiple lanes that they go into them and then sort them out later, but they never sort them out properly, do they? They always get themselves jammed. Um, so I need better... The game needs a way of handling this better, basically. That's all I'm saying. But uh, we're, we're good there. So, what I think we should start doing is planning a next expansion, because we're going to run up to about 100 episodes. So we've got another 10 episodes 
roughly after this one, depending if we do stop at 100 or we go a little bit over. And these areas are. Oh, I found something interesting, by the way. Distraction time! Uh, all of our people live in this city. The purple is adults. Mostly adults in the purple ones, mostly seniors in the dark ones, green ones are mostly families. So this area here is definitely mostly mostly adults with a seniors scale to get in. The old city over here is definitely mostly adults. The rather scene area is definitely mostly adults with some families in it. Uh, the new town city is a little bit of a bit, but mostly adults. But this area here is literally this is our family corner. <laughs> we have a family friendly corner over here in the new city, new town area. Weird. That they the way that they focus like that more than anything else because the they have, they have schools and stuff over here. Anyway, regardless of that, what we want, I want to start planning in the next stage. So the next stage, I think, we have to go here, here or here. And I'm honestly thinking we go in maybe the curvy one first. I mean, this is where Poop Lagoon lives, but Poop Lagoon isn't so much Poop Lagoon anymore since it. Uh, since the Eden Project clears up all the pollution. But that was the waterfall, the river came through here, and this and the river came down there, so this is actually all reclaimed land. We can build on this reclaimed land. Or we can blow the dam up and let the water flow and then have the rivers back, but uh, I'm feeling the whole, you know, build in the, in the shadow of a dam. Um, it's always gone well for people. Okay, so let's, I think we start doing that. So, before we do any of that, we're going to need to be a road network across. Now, these roads here are... More than capable of having additional workload on them. How are the junctions at the top, though? Yeah, these junctions are more than capable of having a little extra workload on them. So we'll be good to do that. So I think the best way to do this would be to bring in traffic down the bottom here. Or, off, like a slip will come off of there, bring it across here. Enter it to the inside, run on the inside track of this. And then back out there. And I'm not going to do there, but maybe we'll bring it across this island for extra traffic. Um, merge it up here somewhere because this we can do something here, can't we? Okay, let's let's start with that. Actually, let's start with up there. Bring it down. We can put a curved road down here. Housing stuff back here. Um, commercial maybe on the, this part. I don't know. I will lay that out. But uh, I want this road to be unlike this one here, where these highway roads at the, at the top. It wants to be in the middle, like it's sort of here, and they can distribute on both sides. Now we don't have too much room to play with. But if we can bring it down this, this shoreline here, we can actually split off like commercial to, uh, yeah, commercial to one side and residential to the other. Should work well. Um, should we also go with a a single road rather than a rather than a double? So rather than going straight forward highway, should we look at doing something like this? The uh, the, the four lane national highways, which are the two two way roads. Uh, four lane national highway, medium traffic. Highway does not allow zoning next to it, so that's good. I don't want people zoning next to it. And it would be a two-way road. So this is a two-lane two-way. Do we have a three-lane two-way? Because that's a that's like a six-lane one-way, that one. What's that? A highway with sound barriers. Okay. They're new. Fall-in highway with... A large highway with fall-ins going in one direction. So why, why are these any different from the normal highway? They look like the normal highway to me. Okay, different graphic but normal thing. Okay, what about here? Uh, don't want these these ones. We have to elevate as well, don't we? Yet. The bicycle lanes would be nice, but no. I think we just go with normal. Ooh, bus lanes. Would it be a good idea to have buses on the uh, on the elevated highway? Let's not put bus on the elevated highway. Um, ooh, meridians. Meridians are always good. They help keep traffic. Six lane. There we go. We can always upgrade to eight lane if we want it. All right, so we're going to be a six lane, and we're going to have it elevated two notches up, and that will stop people trying to spawn on the thing. So let's try this out. Put you there. Oh, give me a bendy row, please. We'll start you there, and we'll try and keep you on this meridian line we've got going. So we'll curve you to about there. Then we'll curve that one to about there. And if this works out, this will be our, our design for this area. And I'm not going to allow cross traffic, so um, if it's an exit for the left, it's an exit for the left. It's like it's a highway. And then you would go there and then out to here, and where would we join you in? We can, we can join you in over, we can join you in this, 
bit here, can't we? We can actually do that. So we'll bring you over to here. But elevate it to there. Sorry, there's a hump in the land and it's annoying me. Bring the, yeah, see that? Well, look at that. It's just, no, stop, stop it. I see what you're doing there and nobody, nobody approves of that. Boom, and then... Whoop. Down, down. No, see, this is, no. So what are you doing there? It's just stupid, stop it. There you go. And then here you will go down to ground level because, hey, why not? I mean, you might as well, if you're going to be in that area, touch down to ground nearly. Now, here's where we get interesting. We've got two lanes. I'm going to bring those and join them to two highways. I think we'll bring highways out from here across because it'll probably be easier to get the connections in place. He says, knowing that's probably not going to be true. Slip road comes off of there. Uh, it can come out here. And then we'll do that. Okay, and then we'd have one over here. Which would come from there and go out and then under. There we go. It go under there. Pause for a second because the power cable is going to get destroyed. It come under there. And it come up and climb to that. Can I have one at a road that doesn't look like it's going to crash into something on the way? Oh, there, there. Boom. Alright, so that gives me my two lanes up. Uh, power cable is going to need to be rebuilt. And there are no. No way that's not going to be required, so I'll leave it off for a moment. Uh, you go to there, then you need to switch to a two-lane highway at this point. Maybe you need to switch to a three-lane. Uh, from there, and you're going to get to here. And I always get this part mixed up, because we're going down the roads out. Okay, we're driving on the right. So you are going to want to swing right and drop into the side there. So that's fine. We can just take you, swing you out that way. And then we'll take you over this way, like that. Mm, not quite sure that hill's required, but uh, I'm not going to bother taking it down. And there you go into there. Now here, we'll take your three lanes out. Boom. There we go. And then you will go and deal, deal the opposite side. So you're going to come over here. And you're going to go somewhere around this area for now. Boom. Again, we might, I might t tunnel that. It looks weird. But I've seen places like that, so, you know. Oh, why would you do that? That's just stupid. There you go. Right. Over here. And then elevate yourself up. Like that. Yeah, that's how magic bridges work. Right, okay. So then you need to be on a... A slip road system now. I want you to go you to go into there and I want no one to go over here into there. So the simplest solution here is you. I'll literally just do that. Boom. And you would come up there. And I think your best solution here is to actually go over rather than under, but we'll try and go under first if we can. Boom. Because under does make more sense in some areas, and if we can get the climb at the far end. Um thank you. If you can get the climb at the far end, then uh, then we'll be okay. Can I up you that a bit? No. Take it to there. And then climb. Yeah, we can't get that climb as I wanted it. So we have to go over, I think. Oh, why can't you... You, can, you should be able to climb that. That always, always annoys me. Easy. Oh, you can't build there because there's a bridge above you. But, 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 but you would build there. Right, you come out there, go under. You can't do. You can go there at that height. That means technically, technically, if, you, if we can get to that height, there. If we can get to there, then yes, you can do that. Ha! Uh, make that turn and then drop you into there. Boom! You're in. Okay, power cable restoration mode. Uh, you, you would go over there, to there, those ones get removed, and we can unpause, because the power cables are being restored now. 
So that will give us the, you out that way, you out that way, and we'll know which way on the outbounds or inbounds might need additional traffic, because obviously these are only single lanes and these are triple lanes. So we might be able to get away with actually having additional traffic. In fact, we might be able to get away with making that a four lane, and have two, two lanes coming out, but we'll have to uh, determine that nearer the time. We'll see what our workload's going to be like. So these come over here, long way around, get to here, and then we want to send, I think we'll send this out around here, up here somewhere, maybe at the centre. And then you join into these guys over here for quick access to the outside world, and then they have a faster route for other places like in there. Ooh, well, actually that is quite saturated. No, not too bad. Yeah, okay, let's get that one moved uh, from here. Keep that uh, keep that particular road type going. It's a three lane with Meridian, so that one. Pull that back a bit more. Put this turn to be a little less uh, aggressive. Uh, take it to there, and do we build through that? Do we build build through that? I'd say we build through that. Uh, good question. Are we uh, able to go underneath this? Because this was, if it, it kind of goes against the old point, if we can't go underneath it. We can't. Good. I was just one of the things I wasn't quite sure. All right. So what we could do here, we could split this build up into two. Go one, go that way around. One, go that way around. But that's kind of kind of weird. I'm actually just going to go. I like the sound of it. We're going to follow this little uh, character here. For no reason other than it just it seems like it might be an interesting way of doing it. So we'll take a turn there. Up oh. there. Uh then we'll take a turn this way. Up again. Let's not have that up. That up there looks weird. Boom. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's make it like that. And then why why why? Why do you have that hump? The hump is just weird. Okay, to there. Uh, down this hill. To somewhere around here. Then here, you go out that way. And then what I'm going to do is, here, I'm going to run straight up to this, this line, straight to the edge. And then we can build on either side of this later on, see. Uh, pause for the power cable issue. Go across this hill here. To there. Ooh. Do like those bridges. They are nice, nice designs. You get to there, and then you got to go across the river to there. We have another one of those nice bridges, and then you need to separate and get get these. But before we continue, and I can unpause it, let me do that power cable I blew up. Uh, up, up, and there we go, and unpause. Yeah, that'll get uh, all that done. So over here. I just need to connect it up to the, this particular highway section here. So, roads. Again, for now, one-way lanes, and then we'll uh, up it as needed. Uh, slip road, one way. This side goes into there. So we'll take it from here nice and far out. We'll take it up there. Boom. Mm. Okay, maybe we'll elevate it a bit earlier, actually. Send you out there. Up, up. there and then send you into the road as elevators we can connect this one this side could take off from here can go up up and then can do a quick turn in can do a quick turn in come on why would you let me do a quick turn in because you've got these really annoying positions for stuff well well that worked why don't you do that earlier then that can go in there. Move it, please. Uh, you put that way just a tad. There we go. Uh, so you're going to there, and then that goes up to there. So we'll make that into a, two, a three lane upgrade. Like that. And then this side will have the three lane coming out. Uh, bendy tool. Going that way. Uh, to there. Boom. And what we'll do here is we'll have a slip road going out this way, uh, like that, to here, boom, and then a slip road going that way, which we'll have to go across this road, swing around and drop it to the far side, which is not undoable and it's not even a bad idea. In fact, I could, I could cross the train track to do that, which isn't a horrible idea in its own right. Yeah, let's cross the train track. Nobody has ever had a problem with driving over a train track, right guys? 
Actually, it looks really nice if you just. Ooh. That. If we can bring that a little bit sharper, we can have a hook, hook the road and hook the train line at the same time. Ooh, nice. And then down to there. Oh, come on. You can do that. Really? You're going to be awkward with that one. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, put that there. Move it to there. Oh, come on. That one. There you see, see what you're doing there? That works. Oh, where well, your problem was. Uh, move it might need to just do a slight adjustment here, though. Uh, do that. Do that. Do that. There we go. That works. That works. All right, so we have the connections up. The connections are actually up and running. These roads now uh, go all the way through. They have this little wiggly bit through the middle of this mountain range because I thought it looked weird and funny. And we have the place we're building the town on. Excellent. Now, my plan is to build the housing area over here and commercial this time, commercial on the beach something with maybe some shops coming into the water itself. That might go in right nicely. Uh, but we want to build a... I want to build away from this road. I want to build the actual exits first on here rather than the uh, side roads. Normally I build the side roads and connect them and then you have trouble getting the spaces in. So I feel we'll build the slip road first and then we'll do it. But, 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 these junctions here. Yeah, I thought you might do that. Let's just stop you doing that stupid stuff. You don't get to turn left. It's not a place for you to turn around. There we go. Uh, and the one up here will be exactly the same. Bouncy. And wait for it. There it is. You don't get to turn left. There we go. You're not a turnaround point. Uh, I might change that off, but I think it looks all right. I mean, I might just change the angle. I'm saying, but I'm not sure. But there we go. Let me know what you think of that road uh, and the idea of building the city in here. I might make this entirely um, residential and put some commercial his side. Hmm. But let me know what you think of that and any specialization we might want to put in these. And we get that area we can build into as well. Come off of that road, can't we? Later on. But anyway, let me know what you think of all this design and this stuff. But next time, we're going to build this section up. Uh, I don't know what we'll put in there yet. I'm thinking residential in here, commercial there. But it might be all residential and then commercial over here. I'm sure we'll figure a design out unless you've got any better ideas. But until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>